Welcome to the Hannibal History Museum. We are located in historic downtown Hannibal, Missouri, hugging the western shore of the Mississippi River. As you enter the museum, you'll step back in time and learn about the people, places, and events that make the history of this small Missouri River town so remarkable. There's something for everyone at the Hannibal History Museum, as young and not so young alike explore the fascinating permanent exhibits. The history of Hannibal begins with the native tribes that roamed the area of Northeast Missouri. European explorers and fur traders were also a part of Hannibal's earliest settlements. Coyote, raccoon, beaver, and wolf hides were traded between the natives and the French and Spanish traveling the Mississippi River. The first log cabin in Hannibal was built in 1819 by Moses Bates. After the migration of settlers from the failed village of Marion City, the first platted map of Hannibal was drawn in 1836 by Stephen Glasscock. During Mark Twain's childhood years, the antebellum years before the start of the Civil War, Hannibal grew rapidly into a thriving town on the western edge of the American frontier. The Hannibal St. Joseph Railroad, completed in 1859, helped establish Hannibal as a major center of commerce, particularly in the lumbering industry. At its peak, Hannibal's numerous sawmills produced as much as 230 million linear feet of lumber per year. After the turn of the century, the Roberts, Johnson & Rand Shoe Factory became the largest business in Hannibal. Shoes would continue to be produced in Hannibal for more than 60 years. A wooden elevator lift, found in a building on Broadway that dates back to 1865, was donated to the museum and rebuilt by volunteers. Hannibal is also known for its remarkable architecture. Nearly every type of Victorian architecture can be seen in Hannibal. The museum's collection includes blueprints of some of the mansions once owned by the town's lumber barons, as well as a keystone that was once part of the Hannibal YMCA. A recreation of a Victorian parlor showcases authentic Victorian wallpaper designs, a turn-of-the-century player piano, a rocking chair from Cliffside Mansion, and a parlor chair that dates back to the 1840s that was once proudly displayed in the Hannibal home of Mary Brewington Coons. Not just the boyhood home of Mark Twain, many prominent nationally known personalities have lived in Hannibal. Hall of Fame baseball player Jake Beckley and Olympic medal winner George Pogue were born in Hannibal, as was Robert E. Coons, Admiral and Chief of Naval Operations of the U.S. Navy from 1919 to 1923. Hannibal was also the birthplace of Bill Lear, best known as the inventor of the Learjet. Hannibal's own Cliff Edwards is also celebrated at the Hannibal History Museum. A star of stage and screen for more than 40 years, his most memorable performance as the when voice of Jiminy Cricket in Walt Disney's Pinocchio won the Academy Award for Best Song in 1940. No There's so much to learn and explore at the Hannibal History Museum. We hope you will plan a visit soon and allow us to share with you the rich history of this amazing small Mississippi River town, Hannibal, Missouri.